he allowed me with his trust and his recognition to give the best I have. I mean, if you have a lover who really looks at you and looks happy at what he sees, you bloom. Ingmar was always at this side of the camera and he didn't say something. He knew that I had things to come with as long as I understood the script and he only worked with people who understood the scripts. He was sitting there and he made me bloom because I saw somebody who's watching, listening, what is she coming with? And uh, I bloomed for him. And if there was something, he would not say, that you think like this and then you do this. He would say, just take it down a little, just a little. Uh, or, you know, he would, I, I did, did a movie, I'm not telling you the whole story where I was to commit suicide. The only thing he said before the camera, he said, uh, you know, you take the pills and then you sit down on the bed and you die. That was all he said. But just before it starts, uh, I hear him say to the prop person, you took out the Valium from that bottle before you put in the sugar pills. I mean, I knew he did it to stir me up. But at the same time, I wanted to be stirred up. So the moment he said camera, I was like, my God, they may have forgotten. And then I shiver a little on my hand, and then, oh yeah, oh, this looks good, you know, I'm taking my pills, and look at my hand shivering, it's very good. <laughs> and, and then it happened, and he never said cut, never said cut. And then I hate to take pills, and then suddenly I take a lot of pills, because I have to empty that stupid bottle. He didn't say a word, never said cut. I sit down, what am I to do now? Well, I'm starting to get tired. Never said cut, so I lie down on the bed, doesn't say cut, and I lie down, and it's my childhood bedroom, and look at the tapestry. I'm sure she, as a child, she was doing this on the tapestry, you know. Doesn't, doesn't say cut, and I thought, this is beautiful, you know. I'm doing the tapestry. He must be very impressed now. And then it doesn't say cut. What? Oh, I look at the watch. So this is when I'm going to die, and my hand isn't shivering so much anymore because I am dying. And then suddenly... I close my eyes and then I hear slowly from him, cut. And all he said afterwards was, well, I don't have to do my suicide anymore. And that's how he, he directed. Meet somebody and you fall in love and you make a home for, for her and you have a child together. And despite whatever breakup and whatever pain, you walk a line together for 42 years you make 12 films together. And I, I say this over and over again, but I find that it's incredible that she is in the last frame of his last film. For a man who was Ingmar Bergman, who wrote so many films, directed so many films, and over 200 theater productions, so many things of these are not coincidences. They cannot be. So this is, the, 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 it is special. It doesn't happen to everyone. What happens, the story that uh, we choose to tell is a story, is a human story. You know, it's not a story of two famous artists. They are incredibly, they're timeless. But this is a story of a man and a woman. And as she says, of two children and two friends. He wrote about his life in his movies. He wrote these letters, and I'm sure there are other letters somewhere too. And he wrote books. It is another world than the world that belongs today with people who communicate uh, this way, instead of a world where you had to use all your time, time to communicate this way, or through the camera. And the camera is the truth. It is, a it is their story. Yes, it is through her eyes, but it is also through his eyes, because his personal letters, which nobody has seen yet, his love letters, there are 86 of them, are in, some of them are in the film for the first time, where he <coughs> writes. And while reading those letters, and I couldn't read them because they're in Swedish, but our producer was reading them when we were filming them. And one moment he suddenly stopped and he looked at me and said, there is so much love in here. And to be honest, I haven't read them for hundreds of years. And I'm, I took copies before I gave it to them. So I'm, you know, when I saw the movie, did he write that? 
to me, I mean, that was a gift too. I had forgotten. I was worth loving that way. And so I'm going to go home and, 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 and read them again. And later, of course, you know, you, I do fiascos in Hollywood and, and I always know, it doesn't matter, I'm going home to do scenes from a marriage. So then I knew, I knew whatever I did, I, uh, I could always go home. And for me, Ingmar was home.